Hello oh, and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host Owen. And for this channel brings you your team every single day. Rangers, daily Rangers news, daily Rangers updates, as well as weekly podcasts and live streams. Remember, we've got the uh, Aberdeen Rangers game live this weekend here on the channel. So please come and join in the fun. Well, let's grasp the nettle, shall we? Let's talk about the story that everyone is currently talking about in Glasgow, if you are from the blue side of the city, if you are a Rangers fan. And that was the post that Michael Beale put up on his official Instagram account, Michael Beale 4980 Very weird end. It's like, what's that, like Beverly Hills 50210? I don't know. Anyway, Michael Beale uh, tweeted out, um, oh, not tweeted out, sorry, put on Instagram pictures of the city of Rome. Um, and it said, a first visit to Rome last weekend, amazing history and buildings, which obviously straight away got Rangers fans talking. Now, first of all, let's just clear one thing up. He is not in Rome at this moment in time. It was last weekend, he said. Um, so obviously, you know, that's a, that's a bit of a clue there, um, you know, that he's not there at this moment in time. So that he's not obviously there to watch Roma versus Feyenoord tonight. So why was he in Rome? Are we putting two and two together and getting five? Or are we putting two and two, two and two together and getting four? Obviously, this comes off the back of what Michael Beale said in that interview that he gave on Talk Sport. And he has said in previous weeks when he has spoken at press conferences about the fact that he likes to meet players face to face. He likes to go out and talk to them face to face. He likes to get to know them. He likes to look them in the eye. So that immediately got fans talking. Obviously, there are two teams in the city of Rome. Uh, Lazio and AS Roma. AS Roma, of course, coached by the indomitable Jose Mourinho. Tongues were wagging straight away. Now, obviously, it could be that Michael Beard is just out there on holiday and having a nice break and doing what we all do when we go on holiday. And that's putting up our holiday pictures on our Instagrams, on our Facebooks and on our Twitters just to share with our friends what we're doing, where we are and where we're going. But it could also be a scouting mission. We don't know. And obviously, as I said, there are two teams in the city of Rome. Now, like I said, this got fans talking, putting two and two together and getting five, four, six, nine, whatever. They've got in loads of different numbers. And it could all be just rumour. It could all be just supposition. I don't know. I'm guessing here. I'm doing what you're all doing. I'm just speculating um, like we all are. It's fun to speculate sometimes, isn't it? Um, I haven't got any inside information. Like I said in my previous video, I haven't got any access to the team, any access to Michael Beale um, or, you know, to Stuart Robertson or to John Bennett, the chairman. You know, I'd love to be able to have access, uh, you know, and get into the club and talk to the players and talk to, talk to the chairman and talk to the to the managing director and, you know, ask questions. I'd love to do that. You know, that's one of my ambitions as this channel grows. But uh, now, like I said to you, Beale obviously spoke about the fact that he likes to meet players. Now, this automatically got people thinking. So the thing is, obviously, there are certain players who are out of contract this summer at Roma and at Lazio. The other thing to note is also there is a player from Roma who used to play, who used to uh, work with Michael Beale during his time at Chelsea. Hang on for that. That is coming. So hang on for that. So let's go through those players, first of all, that are out of contract and discuss their possible likelihood of a move to Glasgow from the Eternal City. So on the red side of the city, on the Mourinho side of the city, you've got um, Egyptian-born uh, Italian winger Stephen El Sharawi, ex-AC um, Milan, obviously very talented, very skillful guy. He's 30 years old, you know, but is he too old? Is, is he not someone Rangers could be looking at, given the fact he hasn't got any sell-on value, really? You know, any contract he there, say, two, three years, and at 33, has he got any sell-on value? And if, if Rangers want to bring in the trading model, is he the sort of player they want to go for? But Stephen El Sharawi is out of contract this summer. And like we said, we know that Beal could be looking at a couple of Bosmans to bring in. Another player who is out of contract this summer is Englishman Chris Smalling, who has been playing to rave reviews in Serie A. And certainly a lot of people thought that he should have made the England squad for the World Cup with some of his performances in Serie A. Obviously, Italy, the home of the defender. Um, Smalling, though, however, is 33 years old. So is he too old now? Is he not, sort of, again, a player who is not going to interest Rangers, even if he is on a free contract? Uh, let's move on then. Who else have we got? We've also got Andrea Bellotti and William Bayanda. 
Uh, Andrea Bellotti is the gentleman with his hands on his head after missing a chance, probably. And William Bianda is the guy on the right. Now, Bellotti is a striker and Bianda, I think that's how you pronounce his name, is a defender. Bellotti uh, was previously with Torino, where he had the majority of his success, making 232 appearances for the Turin-based club and scoring 100 goals. He's also had 44 appearances for the Italian national team, where he has scored 12 goals. He, however, has had a very unsuccessful in Rome, picking to appearances, and only scored a solitary ball. So, is it that someone like him could be of interest, or is he again, you know, a bit misfiring? Is that another one we don't want to bring into the club, you know, given the risk he brings? Uh, Bellotti is 29 years old. So, is that a possibility that, you know, that we're going to invest money in a 29 year old striker? You know, that is could be something we don't want to have but a 29 year old striker Bianda, however is someone who could be a possibility he's the defender and he's 22 years old so young again would fit in with a player trading model so Bianda is i suppose a possibility another younger player who they could be interested in is croatian midfielder ante koric now obviously we have built borna at the club already and he's gone on he's had great success at rangers and i think will be likely to be staying i think for at least another season with with rangers koric is only 26 years old he's a skillful midfield player so again could koric be someone rangers are interested in now let's move to the sky blue side of the city, unfortunate colour. Uh, before we talk about the Roma player who Michael Beale used to work with, it is coming guys to so hang on for that. So two players who are out of contract this summer who I think are very, very unlikely to make a move to Glasgow are 36-year-old Stefan Radu, who is a Romanian player who I think is more likely to retire, and 35-year-old Pedro, former Barcelona and Chelsea player, who is talking very much about returning to Spain after the end of his Lazio stay. So I think we can rule those two out. The other player is um, a guy called Romero, who is a winger. He's 24 years old. Um, another player who is a possibility, I suppose. He does fit in with that player trading model, doesn't he? You know, the fact that he is, um, he is young. He's someone, obviously, who would have, would have sell-on value if he is, uh, you know, he's described as a starlet, Luca Romero. He... Uh, um, a talented player, certainly. Um, plays attacking midfielder, uh, but I think you know the, the likelihood is that um, he is someone that possibly could be um, a potential re-sign for um, for Lazio. He is a, a Argentinian youth international. Um, he's twenty. You know, he is quite a skillful, skillful player. So I don't think he, he is a strong possibility for me. So. Out of contract players, and like we said, you know, he could be uh, Michael Beale after a Bosman. Now, let's get to the player who Michael Beale used to work with and has experience. Now, remember what Michael Beale said about his targets. It could you could find that these players are players that he has previously worked with. Let me introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham currently plays is out in Rome for yes, Rome under Jose Mourinho. Uh, Tammy Abraham obviously started his career at Chelsea um, and scored 21 goals in 58 appearances for Chelsea. Spent time on loan at Bristol City, uh, where he scored 23 goals in 41 appearances. Swansea, where he scored five goals in 31 appearances. Aston Villa, where he scored 25 and 37. And has scored 24 goals in 67 appearances during his time in Serie A. He played for England. He's got 11 England caps, scored three goals for England in his time. So could it be that Tammy Abraham is someone that uh, that J Jose, that uh, not Jose Mourinho, that Michael Beale is looking at? Now, obviously, the, the issue here, obviously, is that Abraham is still under contract. I mean, it may be that Abraham wants to return home. You know, that could be a strong possibility um you know it might be that the fact that you know this is the time where he sees a potential to turn return to the uk however he would be exceptionally expensive uh valued at some 40 million euros so i think it's highly unlikely that it is tammy abraham that michael beale is seeking to bring back to glasgow so why is beale out in rome what is the purpose of that visit that is a big question a big, big question for Rangers fans. So, like I said, it could be he's just on holiday. It could be down to the fact that he is actually scouting someone. And it could be even someone we haven't even thought of yet. You know, a player that hasn't even been mentioned in the, in the with those names. You know, it could be anybody, couldn't it? 
And uh, like I said, we are just speculating and there will be continue to be speculation as long as, of course, this this uh, the situation goes on where we obviously haven't signed anyone that we're still looking to bring in four to five names. But, you know, certainly this message from Michael Beale on his Instagram has certainly got fans talking and, you know, wondering why he was out in Rome. And like I said, it could be that he's just on holiday. Who knows, guys? Who knows? Anyway, let me know in the comments below why you think Michael Beal was out in Rome. Was he scouting any of those players? Are there any other players you could be possibly see him been interested in purchasing from Roma or Lazio? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the Glasgow Rangers Nation, your team, every single day. Please hit that sub, ring that notification bell and give this video a like. Once again, guys, I'll be back to speak to you again really soon here on the channel, here on Glasgow Rangers Nation.